Okay, so I don't really know where I'm going, but I do know that is the um, proper way to go. So I'm going to head this way. Now it does lead down to another layer, so I obviously um, need to dig a little further down. Now obviously I'm pretty vulnerable from this point, so I shall do that. And I'll make a way down. In fact, put myself into complete blackness. Shall done a tunnel down to the next area because really, I suppose the drops are the most deadly things in this place. But I think I've located the area I need to go to. I see a spider. Oh, there, Mr. Spider. Yeah, it's straight down here, I guess. Because I do remember how the level goes. It'll go there and it'll drop down and it backs up on itself. If I effectively. Am I safe here? Um, and safe here technically. So what I'll do is I'll use this just to block off the area. The only thing it can get me now are cave spiders, which obviously don't exist at this point. Um, I shall back this up a little. I dug down straight away there, which is a bad idea. If you were wondering, the bedrock that I found, that was literally, literally the layer of bedrock. Don't see anything yet. Here walking, but that might just be from above. You can hear a zombie. Spiders, so I could be potentially next to something. In fact, can I see some of that? Is that my imagination? You can hear a lot of noises, so I've obviously hit something. I don't know if I need to just dig a little further down, maybe. In fact, I've hit that bedrock again, so I must be close by. Ooh, what's this? I have found something. I have found a cave spider spawner. So I think, maybe, if I dig this way, I found more area. If I can get a peek out. In fact, I can see glass over there. So if I tunnel myself directly this way, I should hopefully dig myself directly into. And this is getting a bit exciting. Yep, dug ourselves directly into the wall. And if you're wondering what sort of thing you we would be up against, um, there are just well, you can see the tons of spawners. There's just so many spawners in there. That trying to do a normal rush of tactics would really just end up well. Look at this. It's just nests of the things. Huge areas covered in the thing. Luckily, I've actually done a tactic that pretty much negates the um, need for anything. All you need is a few, a few peeks out to be able to find out where you need to go, and you have it pretty much. So now all I have to do is escape, which shouldn't be too hard, as I do have a way. You can tell because of the torches that I've obviously been this way. I'm not entirely sure which way I need to go but I know where I am now because this is my mystical barrier and I do believe we have finally defeated the level. I will stay recording just for this moment of occasion. I do believe I should be okay. Obviously the pig came in useful, the sword is useful and I believe with this we have escaped this evil place. So to be honest it's not too bad if you know where to go. That's probably... Where the heck is this? Oh, this is Rambo. Yeah, it's not too bad as long as you know where to go. If you've never done this area, however, it will be difficult. Unless you, um, unless you use tactics to poke your head round it. Obviously you can 
do a kind of tactic like that to try and work out where everything is in relation to each other. Um, I will see if I need to go to sleep, which I don't. And I think this is pretty much the world completed. I still died twice, though. I was expecting to die a few times. I've obviously learnt a few things in doing this the second time round, especially on hard mode, as I have to fear the mobs. That pig's missing part of his leg. And we shall go. Hi, pig man. Oh, I was gonna attack him. Just to be a jerk. Do we have a minecart? Still, we don't have a minecart. So really, that area isn't as hard as, say, the first area. I mean, uh, the area we did earlier today. I mean, really, a tactic I could have used was simply to just build a tunnel at the side um, for the room with all the, all the um, dispensers. Yay! We have a blue wall! Yay! Woo! Excitement. So yes, I beat this level now twice, with obviously hard mode being the um, being the change this time. Obviously, um, next time I think I may do a map that is, well, it's blind to me, so I obviously won't know what I'm doing. There's a few things I've learnt from doing this the second time round, tactics I should really consider using. Usually I would just rush in, try and torch everywhere, and try to avoid dying. Obviously I can always avoid dying because playing with lava was something I'd started doing. Obviously people make mistakes when it comes to lava. Like I could right click here and kill myself probably. Which I'm not gonna do. Oh, of course the Enderman. I'll just run the rest of the way. So yeah, I've, I've had a great time exploring these new possibilities of tactics and whatnot. Obviously, um, I'm going to be doing the update, so it does mean I'm going to have some new things to look forward to. I'm going to have to look forward to the fact that the sword doesn't two-hit kill everything, and potions, and not having to worry about being burnt to death. In fact, when I get that potion, I might be able to use that to some strangely effective degree. I don't know if it stops you being burnt, or if you can actually touch lava. Touching lava would be broken, I suppose. So I'm going to empty my stuff of all but two items. I'll use this other treasure chest with various miscellaneous items. There we go. I think I made a sign ready for this occasion. Yep. I will remove my armor as it's been destroyed. Pop some bits in there. Pop some bits in there. Okay, and we shall place this momentous occasion of wool into here and place on here diggy diggy hole. There we go. If you, any of you watched the Yogg's cast, you would understand that. So, there we have it. We have the monument completed. Hooray! And just to recap everything, we have the second from last piece, Mosh Pit of Zombies, Carelessness Costs Lives, oh yeah I didn't, didn't add live numbers, Darkness and Blackness, Be Prepared, Then Blooming Stairs, Creeper Tower with Less Creepers, I love iron. I should put a heart there. I don't know what to do, but it was easy. Sky spawner. Look out above. Lucky zombie dive. Diggy diggy hole. Search for the wall. Water beats fire. Lava is fun, normally. Ghasts. Run away. Again. And we have our diamond and our gold everything. So I'd like to thank Vex for this amazingly fun map. I'm sure I'll be burning in more lava next time I um, next time I do my next thing. So yeah. Thank you everyone for watching and look forward to the next series. See you then.